They are America's newest Golden Girls. The Fierce Five back home after winning gold in women's gymnastics at the London Olympics. It was the first time Team USA took gold in the event since the Magnificent Seven in, back in 1996 in the Atlanta Games. They were unstoppable from the impressive vaults, incredible flips, powerful finish on the floor exercise when they knew victory was theirs. Joining me this morning, we have the entire team with us. From left to right, we're starting with uh, Michaela Maroney is with us, and also Kyla Ross, and Ali Reisman, and Gabby Douglas, and Jordan Weaver. So nice to have all of you. Congratulations to you. Awesome to be wearing your gold medal. Let's uh, start with you, Gabby, about um, gold, talking about your gold medal uh, in the all-around. Did you know going in, like, did you feel confident? Did you, did you feel like you were going to nail it? Uh, coming in, I uh, felt very confident. I trained uh, so many years and uh, put a lot of effort and uh, determination to the gym. And uh, you have to go in and be strong and courageous and uh, not be scared or uh, be afraid of anything. So you've got to treat it like any other competition. Jordan, how's your leg feeling? It feels like you're, is it feeling okay? Yeah, it's feeling much better now. I've been, I've been able to rest a little bit, so. Oh, good, good, good. You know, one of the things I thought was most amazing about you, watching you closely, and I was watching the Olympics with my daughters, who are, are gymnasts, uh, to see you come back from a tremendous disappointment and really come back in fine fashion and do really, really well. Tell me, what was the thing that, that made you able to come back? Like, what did you draw upon to not just wallow in disappointment, but really, you know, rebound? I think I just looked to the support of my teammates, and I knew that we had a quick turnaround. We had team finals two days later, so even though I was a little bit disappointed and sad, I had to mentally just turn it around and get really excited for team finals because I still had a really important job to do, and I knew that team was counting on me. Ellie, we've been calling you the Fab Five, and then all of a sudden it was like, no, no, it's the Fierce Five now. And I'm going to read you a quote of, um, of what was said. I guess Fab Five was taken by some basketball team or something. <laughs> Michaela said that. The Fab Five, of course, was this originally uh, famous uh, 1991 University of Michigan men's basketball team. How did you come up with the Fierce Five as your new name? Um, I think just we're all fierce when we go out on the competition floor. We're really, really focused, and we just like to go in and hit our events, and I think we just like that name a lot. One of my favorite things has uh, been Michaela's uh, Tumblr. <laughs> it is hilarious, and it was fun for me to see you start uh, re, you know, sending and, and, uh, and tweeting pictures as well. Uh, that's the Michaela not impressed, and, and they took a picture of you from the metal stand where your mouth is kind of squinched a yeah. little bit. And then they have Michaela uh, moon landing. She's not impressed by the moon landing. Michaela <laughs> sees the Sistine Chapel. Pretty much everything that's <laughs> impressive is just not impressed. She's by. a Justin Bieber. She's not impressed by Justin Bieber. It's really, really funny, and I, I wonder, you know, that kind of thing could be hurtful, right? <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> that you turn something that could be her, your hair, for example, right? In a conversation on Twitter, how do you navigate that? And you just start owning it. Well, you just have to, you know, laugh at what happens. I mean, everything happens for a reason, and you just have to turn it into something positive because being disappointed about it, or I mean, it's not going to help anything. So um, all the girls just were really, like, supportive about it, and they just they keep pointing out the face, like, randomly. They're like, you're doing the face again, Michaela. <laughs> much fun to watch. Do you have any sense of how big a role model you are for young women? My daughters are here. They never come into the studio for anything. Never. I think that means so much to all of us. I mean, the quote of this Olympics was inspire a generation. And to know that we could inspire young girls, gymnasts, athletes, anybody, it means so much to all of us. And it just makes us so happy. And to be a role model, is, it's, I'm sure that it was all of our dreams. And also, oh, go ahead, uh, Also, uh, we used to be those little girls that looked up to the other gymnasts and the other Olympians, so to be able to be that for someone else means more to us than anything, because I was that girl that would run up and ask people for their autographs. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's so great to hear that, because my daughters are about to run in and ask you all for their, <laughs> your autographs today. What are you going to do? What's next? We uh, come on, Taylor and Gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah. We're really yeah. excited for that. 40 cities for three months, so it should be really fun and a new experience for all of us, so I'm excited. Hey, congratulations to you. We are so proud of you. It was just absolutely amazing to be able to watch you and root for you all. Really, really a thrill for all of us. Thank, Thank you. We appreciate it. We're back in the